The Big 12 today with, with, with announcements uh, coming left and right from, from various teams. And, and I, I just want to listen to your thoughts on that because we all know what has been said. We all know the position that you have been put in. Uh, but what, ha what is your reaction to what's going on elsewhere? I, I accept the fact there's going to be change around college sports. I've, I, I think, been probably consistent with you over time. Um, we set a tone that is difficult as the decisions and change. And, you know, it, it hurts to, to impact relationships because Bob Bowlesby and I have had uh, an outstanding working relationship. I, I want that to continue, but it will continue um, a, a bit differently. And, and so today's news is, is not that surprising to me, I guess. Um, the fact that universities and conferences would make uh, decisions. I feel badly for Mike Oresco. Yet, I, I think I've been clear that the opportunity presented to us when the two universities reached out and, and asked about the opportunity with us uh, in a respectful way, uh, we looked at our future, looked at a pretty remarkable fit and a pretty remarkable opportunity, and there are dominoes to that. So I, I've always accepted that fact. I've, I've watched, in fact, I read a couple articles that I've just put aside where they're, they're less than complimentary of me from perspectives. Uh, but, Paul, you and I have talked about the college football playoff, why 12 teams works, how do you make these decisions. It's never easy. It happens quickly. Uh, but I, I'm excited about our future, and, and I say that with a smile on my face. And you should. Uh, and I want to get to the playoff question as well. But and, and clearly, a lot of these questions are not easy to answer. Uh, but does the move today have any impact on Texas and Oklahoma coming into the SEC sooner than, than the expected date? Not at this time, and there's a lot of speculation. You, you may have people engage in, there's no way this works on that timeline, but there are reasons that we've uh, identified that timeline, the relationships that exist between the University of Texas, University of Oklahoma, and the Big 12. Um, it's a time of change. So. That, my, the period on the end of the sentence is I'm focused on 2025, but uh, you know, we always have to adapt. And so I'll read today's news with some interest, but not with great alteration of plans at this point. And, and again, you've answered the question, but you know, the, if it goes according to what you know, is being said and a lot's being said, then you have Texas and Oklahoma as part of that league for however long. It, it, you know, for, for, for someone who just pontificates it just, <laughs> and doesn't have to execute in, in, in the process. And I want to get to that in a second. Uh, it, it seems rather awkward. Well, life can be awkward at times, right? That's like, uh, maybe that's my t-shirt shirt slogan of the day. But we started with the expectation of an orderly transition. And we have identified that. Um, but life throws things at you from time to time. And we, I asked uh, this to Hunter Juracek, uh, and you know, he was diplomatic, as I'm sure you'll be, but I still want to ask you, because fans to this program and every other show uh, are curious, whenever that is, whether it's in two years, three years, four years, or, or whenever the, the end date is, what is the SEC going to look like? Uh, I think Hunter told us there, at, at your meeting recently, there were 27, 47, I don't know, maybe 3,000 different iterations of what the league, <laughs> I can't remember what he said, but it was a lot. Uh, from a scheduling standpoint, yes. or what is the legal? Uh, well, look like? Yeah, what's the legal look like? Okay. Kind of scheduling. Because when you said like 27 or 47, there are a bunch of like ads <laughs> running to the phone <laughs> and conference commissioners getting nervous. So just so no, we're clear, let me, we're let not me pull that one back for a second. The number of members, because um, uh, 16 is a good number. I will tell you, I once was asked. So I'm going to come back to that. I was asked at a luncheon, um, when does uh, the number of conference members become unwieldy? It was a good use of a word at a rotary luncheon. And my observation was at two. Because when there's one, you can serve their interests. Once there's two, there's always competition. But, but 16 is a good number, just to, so I'm clear. Well, if, if I could pause on my own question uh, and follow up, uh, because people keep thinking that this league will expand more in the future. You, I have not seen you this, in this good of a mood in a little while. Uh, I mean, I, it just almost seems... <laughs> well, we're outdoors, we're on campus, so... Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll withdraw the question well, to get to your no, question. So let's go back to the original question. Um, and, and I mean that. Uh, you, we're outdoors, we're together, there's good things happening. 
um, I'm looking forward to our future. And that future goes back to your original question, which I completely diverted. So this is not the Greg Sankey show. This is Paul Feinbaum show. So I apologize for the, the, the jump there. Um, we, will, we, we did. We, we had an in-person meeting um, of our 14 athletics directors a couple weeks ago. First time we've introduced 16 team formats. And you'll recall my observation, blue sky thinking, let's look at the big picture. So let's not have a circumstance where a team traveling to another team takes 12 years for that to happen. That's a, a, a beginning principle. Then how many formats? I'm not sure what number he quoted. I think we were in the 40s of, of options. We narrowed some things down. We still have flexibility around the number of games. You know, the, the Alliance um, introduction was interesting, but what's been represented to me is there's still an interest in playing games. You look at the crowd in UCLA last week from LSU. I was there with AM a few years back, and those are important to us. Uh, the Clemson, Georgia map. So, so those things continuing on are important. Take that back to us, and what's the right number of conference versus conference games? Could that change? Yes, that could change. And all that dodging I've done for the last six years um, has just been, you know, you never know what the future holds. But on this one, uh, we're going to have a committee of all 16 involved athletics directors looking at remaining issues. Our, our next step is, is likely to conduct a survey of that group to say, what are your priorities and what are your needs? And to let them do that outside a room, bring it in, talk through those principles, those ideas, and then start to get down to who fits where and what models are the priority. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.